Hai, good evening from Bali, Indonesia. Welcome back live Instagram with Listen to Kimi FM. This month, Body Positivity with Kimi is back. And happy International Podcast Day to everyone, every podcaster all over the world. Let's celebrate Podcast Day for all of us as a podcaster, yeah. And from Bali, Indonesia. Kimi, listen to Kimi FM, Body Positivity with Kimi is back to support our body, mind, and soul. And this September, yeah, uh, we have a, a one-off guest and we're gonna support our body, mind, and soul with this guest and we're gonna talking about your essence. So like what? Just stay tuned because the guest is being here. We're gonna uh, uh, talking about this conversation with Veronica, founder of uh, Essential Retreat Organizer. So Veronica just uh, with us. Okay, I'm gonna inviting her. Uh, conversation will be going well. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. And Veronica was here. Hi, hi. Veronica, you was there? Hi. Okay, I can see you. Still loading? No video now? Okay. Can you hear me? Farnika, are you there? Yes. I hear you and let's see the camera. Yeah, I don't know why Turn the camera... The yeah, it is. It's Sorry. I'm not sure what is happening. Uh, okay, just uh, turn on the video. And uh, I will. Uh, it's on. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's on. But I'm yeah. still <laughs> waiting for you on the screen. Ah, no, no. Finally. <laughs> Hi. Wow. Okay, finally. How are you, Veronica? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Thank you for inviting me to your your podcast mm -hmm. and your life in yeah. Instagram. Thank My you. My pressure. Anyway, talking about podcast, listen to Kim FM, one of uh, independent podcasts. Uh, I, I let me to say happy International Podcast Day. And I just want to say thank you to Adam Curry and Dev Winner. Since 24, uh, they make like a podcast, the first podcaster in the world. So they both is like, you know, a front man <laughs> being a podcaster in this world. So anyway. Veronica, we're gonna talking about for body positivity with Kimi this September. Yeah, we uh, we we already announced you are uh, the the founder of Essential Retreat Organizer. But we have to introduce uh, first to our audience who you are. <laughs> so yes, my name is Veronica Barcala. I'm original from Spain. Mm -hmm. But since 2009, Bali has been also my my home, um, mm -hmm. and uh, I I have been working in very different fields. But in a moment in my life, when I moved to Bali, I decided to to apply some of my professional and my background knowledge to mm -hmm. something that I'm more passionate about than like I was doing before. I was organizing events. I was organizing congress but it was not really something that it was my passion and mm -hmm. uh, my passion always has been wellness and uh, the natural way of of taking care of yourself inside and outside and mm -hmm. this is what uh, the idea of this uh, service that uh, we offer was created for mm -hmm. uh, to help people to organize their own retreat can be a, for people, individual travelers, or also for group leaders who um, mm -hmm. would like to organize their own retreat or seminar or uh, training, but always where the main concept mm -hmm. is wellness. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow. So uh, your uh, retreat, essential retreat organizer is to help people find a full a mindfulness, something like that. It's like... Uh, support their body, mind, and soul, isn't well, it? Well, uh, it's not only mindfulness because wellness mm -hmm. is a very wide concept, and actually, mm -hmm. the word wellness is like to mm -hmm. be well, to feel well, to mm -hmm. 
to feel well, you need to have to find the balance between oh, your physical, okay. your body, your mind, your spirit as well. And uh, what we help is people to organize an experience mm -hmm. where it can be led by different um, professionals. It can be something, maybe some people are really focused and interested in mindfulness. So of course, then they join an experience where mindfulness is one of the biggest pillars. But it can be someone who is very passionate about mm. yoga, and maybe mm. one of the pillars of the activity of the program can be yoga, or can be a qigong, or can be a nutrition, or can be also a program where it's many little elements, and uh, you can enjoy and you can learn in all these different areas to help to find your, your balance. But mostly okay. the most important is the, the, the word retreat. It looks like, okay. okay, why not? You can do this from home. But there is a moment in life that we need to create our own space to find the, the context where really we are not disturbed by our daily tasks, our daily obligations, and that mm -hmm. we can have our own space and, and time to to work on all these areas that we are concerned or that we want to maybe take care of. Okay, interesting, wow, it's awesome. I mean, someday I have to join to your retreat, right? <laughs> Anytime. <laughs> anyway. Okay, body positivity with Kimi, uh, Veronica will support our body, mind and soul to our audience. So I have to know body positivity on your mind. Uh, body positivity for me uh, is what you mean, sorry? You mean like what is body positivity for me? Well, yeah, body, actually, yeah. the, the body positivity, the, the body is the container, is the vehicle mm -hmm. that we we got on this earth to be able okay. to, 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 that's my, my, my point of view, the body is the container that we receive to, to, to pursue whatever projects we want to achieve in life or whatever is our purpose in life. Mm -hmm. And it's like mm -hmm. a temple for me. And mm -hmm. that's why it's necessary. And I think it's the right thing to take care of in different ways. And mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. uh, to be positive about it is no matter how lucky you were when you were born, because of course, this is a lottery. Uh, some people, they were born with a body that maybe and a face that maybe is what in this time of the uh, uh, in this time of history is considered more beautiful or more uh, attractive and uh, but maybe you are not lucky enough and you don't have the body that is a standard in the community that you live that consider beautiful or consider mm -hmm. uh, like uh, like uh, attractive but to of course it's not easy nowadays to find this body positivity but i think it's a very personal work that we should do because we have to honor this mm -hmm. temple and we have to be thankful that we are able mm -hmm. to walk that we are able to um, to feel to see to smell to taste, to touch, to talk, to hear. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be able to use our senses, no matter how well they work or not. Maybe when we get older, some of them, they are not as functional anymore as they were before. But yeah. I think to be positive about our body is that to be thankful about what the body can do and does all the time without even we paying attention. Even we don't pay attention to it, and it still is letting us breathe, mm -hmm. is, is letting us move. And uh, I think that's like, like, like the more basic and the essential uh, feeling that we should have towards our body. Mm -hmm. It's so kind. I mean, we have to be thankful, everyone, to exactly. uh, you know, being a positive to our body, right? But by the way, have you feel unhappy with your body, Veronica? Of course. Uh, even someone who has, 
even even someone who has like what is considered the perfect body, I'm sure they feel unhappy sometime with something on their body. Because, okay. you know, when you are a teenager, for example, mm -hmm. it's a difficult time for us and the body starts experiencing changes and uh, we are not understanding always because we don't have maybe the proper education or because mm -hmm. we don't have the or because we don't have the the proper stimulus mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. then our body is going to be changing all the time in our life of course nowadays to be overweight is something considered uh, mm -hmm. like a sin or not okay. to have the perfect shape and some people really work hard for that mm -hmm. and they try to have what is considered the beautiful body and uh, uh, and they spend time in the gym and they really and what is nothing wrong with it and it's healthy to do exercise and mm -hmm. me mm -hmm. in different times of my life maybe i was not happy with certain things like my weight you know i've been in diet since on and on since I'm like teenager, even younger, since I was 12. <laughs> my mom already brought mm. me to, to a doctor to make di diet when I was 12 already. Oh, and of okay. course, that, that, doesn't help, that doesn't help for you to feel positive about your body. Even your mom mm -hmm. is telling you it's not good your body, you have to do diet already when you are yeah. 12. And, yeah. but, uh, but to be honest, I need a moment in my life already since several years that of course I know my body is not perfect and I try always to dress to, uh, what you say, what do you do about it? I try to dress in a way that I think uh, mm -hmm. it will enhance the beauty of my body or, or my face. Uh, mm -hmm. and, at the, and also I don't like to use maybe certain kind of clothes where, why I have to wear any kind of clothes. I think what I feel that it suits me better. It also makes me more comfortable. Mm -hmm. But for me, the most important always have been taking care uh, of my body since many years already, trying to keep healthy. So okay. <clears throat> this is the most important for me. For me, being healthy is feeling, feeling agile and free, feeling energized and feeling active mm -hmm. enough to do the things I want to do. Uh, to also, of course, to do the regular medical checkups that show you that in general you are not lacking anything important, but also mm -hmm. uh, outside and inside using uh, products and food that they are not harming me at least very much. <laughs> okay, I, wow. I, I, I try to eat, uh, you know, like... Uh, fresh foods that I know they're good for us. I variety, try not to eat too much processed food, trying to eat, eat as natural as possible. And in my cosmetic uh, selection and choices, mm -hmm. I also try to, um, I also try to use um, as natural as possible as well. You know, of course, it's not 100% always possible, but I try mm -hmm. to learn about it. And like, for example, I'm very passionate about essential oils. So mm -hmm. I avoid already many products because I use essential oils instead with like uh, oil base and try to use natural, more natural products. Actually, in Bali, we are lucky because there is several local companies making good quality products. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's wow. one of my, that, those are my choices. <laughs> your, you know, I mean, your journey about unhappy body to us, it's like, yeah, it's true, you know, being a woman <laughs> sometimes not really uh, confident with ourselves and not, you know, not, not treating well our body sometimes. Well, anyway, everyone, thank you for joining us. My name is Kimi from Listen to Kimi FM. This September 30, we celebrate together mm -hmm. International Podcast Day with Veronica, founder of Essential Retreat Organizer. Well, anyway, uh, for this uh, conversation, we're going to talking about your true essence. Veronica has here, uh, this little bit talking about her uh, mind about the body positivity. And also, uh, she already told to us about when we unhappy with our body, uh, she already gave us like, uh, you know, like attention 
more uh, taking care of ourselves uh, since uh, uh, Veronica uh, child 12 uh, years old she already died <laughs> and it was like okay uh, we, we have to learn more and listening to our body and Veronica how uh, we find our true essence and we have to starting from where anyway um well you know uh, we were born in certain way like mm -hmm. with our I, I will say when we are born, we are really authentic and we are, it's our essence is already there. But of course, there is many other um, elements that affect our life mm -hmm. and circumstances like where we are born, which country, which culture, what uh, spiritual education we get from our families, what education mm -hmm. at school we get, uh, what kind of food we eat. Uh, the people that we are with in our life and all the different events that can happen through our, our mm -hmm. lifetime, they really influence us a lot. And mm -hmm. somehow mm -hmm. they affect our true essence. And many times, many decisions that we make are not really taken mm -hmm. from our deep self. They are maybe taken because of social, family, uh, and, and society conditions or what many mm -hmm. times we do what we are supposed to do because we thought what we think we should do because of the place where we live or the people with who we are related to mm -hmm. but i think that many times we forget what is our true essence and who we really are and that's why when you for example what you can do in a moment you say okay i want to really start listening to my inner voice and because mm -hmm. you know your inner voice is the one that always knows what is best for you. You are the one who knows what is best for you. But I think that all the noise that we have around, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. of course, now the telephone is one of the biggest disruptors and one of the worst, uh, of course, brings a lot of good things, but also brings many uh, distraction and brings a lot of uh, interference. To, to hear our inner self and also telling us many times what we should be or what we should do and what we should think, what we should say, how we should look. And I think a retreat is a good, uh, is a good starting point to find that space where there is no other distractions, uh, mm -hmm. where, there is where, we, where we or whoever has organized this retreat um, mm -hmm has created a specific uh, container and uh, ambience with the best conditions for you mm -hmm. to to listen to that inner voice this is not happening in 24 hours and maybe you go for a one week retreat and it doesn't happen mm -hmm. you have to give a try but i think it's a good big step to um, to practice different uh, wellness and holistic um, activities mm -hmm. can be from yoga, meditation, mindfulness, can be also mm -hmm. go with a coach who give different guidance, can be through food also that is not distracting you with very heavy digestions as well, with healthy food with, that is bringing you energy in a healthy place where you breathe pure air, where you are connected to nature, and where little by little during these days, you are creating this space where you allow your inner voice and your true essence to speak. And that allows you to, to you, you, you allow yourself to hear that because many times is we don't hear. We cannot yeah. hear, it's impossible with so many interference. Yeah, okay. It's so interesting uh, conversation with Veronica from Retreat, Essential Retreat Organizer. Uh, uh, Veronica say when we find to find our uh, your true essence, we have to practice and it's not come only for 24 hours. Yeah, so we need more time to practice and, you know, because sometimes some people need you know, like instant, you know, like, okay, we do it of today course. and we will be yeah. resolved today as well. Yeah. Something like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, so everyone being uh, or find your true essence is not easy. Next practice and also, like Veronica said, you have to, uh, you know, like, uh, 
retreat something like meditation and you have to find Veronica in Bali from Spain live in Bali it's so special so anyway I was wondering why Bali Veronica you come from Spain and why Bali I mean so many country you can visit or you can stay for your uh, essential retreat organize this why Bali? Um, well actually is it has to do with what I was just telling it mm -hmm. was not in a retreat that I hear my inner voice mm -hmm. in a moment. Mm -hmm. It was actually in a beach in my home area uh, mm -hmm. where I hear my inner voice speaking. I know it sounds a little bit uh, mm -hmm. uh, mystic, but I was, I, I was not a very mystic person at that time. I don't consider myself yeah. a still very mystic person. But I think that in that moment, there was a moment in my life that there were all the circumstances that mm -hmm. uh, allow me to hear that inner voice that okay. I, I saw an object, I touched mm -hmm. it, I felt something very strong. I think that mm -hmm. in that moment I was very open and in, in, a, in, a, in a, let's say, in an energy way or in a personal deep way. And mm -hmm. I asked, what is this coming from? And the guy told me, it's coming from Bali. And okay. in that moment, I, list, I hear myself saying, I'm going to live in Bali. And that's exactly how it happened. Two months later, I was in Bali, already mm -hmm. moved in Bali. It was okay, like- Wow, the power of <laughs> listening in your voice, isn't it? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, okay, so from, Today, everyone, don't forget to listen about your inner voice. Sometimes we don't listen our body, right? We don't listen our inner voice. Like, yeah, for example, like me personally, when my body needs some like, okay, Kimi, you have to do this, do this, do this, and you need to treat yourself with well, do, do this, do this. Also you as well, yeah? You have to listen to your body first. If your body needs something, need good food, let's eat, okay? If your body needs some uh you know massage to treat yourself exactly. uh, being yeah you have to treat yourself first well before you treat other people isn't it exactly <laughs> exactly you need to rest listen to your body and rest you know it's it's, it's all this we we have to our body and our mind you know to exactly. trust yourself to trust to trust your intuition uh -huh. if you meet someone uh -huh. you know if you if you have to give people of course opportunity but most mm -hmm. of the time, first thought, best thought. The wow. one that is coming from your guts. Many times we are right. I think yeah. so. Yeah, and you will find your true essence. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Exactly. okay, anyway, Veronica, it's time for me to give you a little bit challenge to, you know, answering with past. It's going to be fun, everyone, from this question. And uh, Veronica will be answering with past. And from this one, you will know who is Veronica in reality. <laughs> okay, you ready? <laughs> okay, okay. I'm gonna something. You will pick no lipstick or no eyebrow. Uh, no eyebrow. No eyebrow. Why? I don't know if I have to choose uh, to do something <laughs> on my eyebrows or my lips. Uh, my lips are very small. <laughs> <laughs> so I think they need some lipstick. <laughs> okay, okay. All right. Next question, you will pick uh, high heel or flat shoes? A very, very clear for me is flat shoes. It's a long time ago oh. that I stopped using high heels. They are painful. <laughs> they are never comfortable. No matter how a woman say, ah, these high heels are very comfortable. Sorry, put sneakers next to it and wear it now. They are never comfortable. No, no men ever wear high heels. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Next question is: You will pick refine or move on from haters? Definitely move on from haters. Okay. No revenge. Okay. I don't need to lose my time with other people's uh, time is very valuable. Time is gold, mm -hmm. and just use it to make positive things. Don't need to waste your time in revenge oh. and in negative things. No, can not Veronica. It's well done. <laughs> Okay, okay. Next question, if you pick ladies' night or killing at home? Well, 
a few years ago I was saying ladies night, uh, ladies night, but I became already a little bit old, <laughs> and now I will choose <laughs> chilling at home. <laughs> no, you're not too old. Just being grown adult. <laughs> So I can definitely uh, already already for a while chilling at home if I have to choose. Uh, yeah. Okay, great. And then last question: You will uh, pick sexy dress or office look outfit for daily or for make you comfort? Oh, I'm not sure about this one. I think like office office clothes. Okay. Yes. Office look. Okay. Oh, I have still one more question. Okay. Is be with somebody who support us or having a lot of friends for your life? Oh, they, there are not so many friends, real friends. So the only way to, to know if someone is a good friend is to see how they support you, especially in bad moments. Mm -hmm. So definitely mm -hmm. also I will be with someone who support me more than many friends. Wow, from your... Uh, uh, answer this question it's like okay maybe your question uh, your answer is like okay it's great for me as well personally <laughs> 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 because yeah to find your true essence everyone don't forget like veronica said we have starting from be thankful okay we have uh, to be thankful for our body and then listen to your inner voice because it's very important all right but uh how to join your retreat i mean it's like a group or uh you know like personal or like what anyway <clears throat> well there is different there is different <laughs> possibilities because uh, we offer the service for like any yoga teacher a coach mm -hmm. and a, a, any therapist who is into the wellness um, in the wellness practice and they would like to host their own trip retreat seminar training mm -hmm. and they will need the assistance to find the right place mm -hmm. the right uh, food the right complementary activities anything we will personalize and help this person to bring their own group not only in Bali, also in other destinations. We are now based as mm -hmm. well in France. And oh, uh, yeah, one of the peak destinations now is becoming Morocco. It's becoming oh. very popular as well in that part of the planet. Um, but of mm -hmm. course, already for, for, for a while, Spain, Portugal, Greece, France, Italy, they are also places very well known to host retreats. And mm -hmm. then uh, in the other hand, if someone, they want to have a, their own pers retreat personal experience, like an individual traveler, we can also personalize, especially in Bali, where our team is mm -hmm. bigger, we can personalize and create a program for them. And finally, sometimes we also host our own retreats. And of course, if they want to join us a participant, because it's suitable the dates and the type of retreat that uh, we are leading, definitely they can join. And most of the time, there is no any requirement. It's just like to be open to, mm -hmm. to, to learn, to be curious, and to be willing to, to heal, to, to find that space where you can mm -hmm. um, feel uh, better and just allow yourself to, to listen to your mind, your body, and your spirit. Mm -hmm. Okay, wow, it's amazing. I mean, listen to Kim FM, Body Positivity with Kimmy, support our body, mind, and soul is really related with this uh, conversation. Veronica is a founder, essential retreat organizer, yeah, because like Veronica said, for find your true essence, just listen to your body, everyone, don't listen another thing. Yes, <laughs> because exactly. sometimes we're always listening other things first and we never listen to our body right Whew, it's like uh you know like uh some kind of okay it's a great thing and how to you know uh starting for this retreat i mean when we feeling down or we don't have something to do or what do you think when we have to start to join like this retreat especially with your uh, well, it's not necessary. I mean, if you want to start the journey or trying to find your true essence, 
Uh -huh. uh, doesn't mean that you need to join any of our uh, other person's retreat. I think the first step is like, okay, I think I want to feel better, uh -huh. either physically uh -huh. or emotionally, or of uh -huh. course, this is not, we don't, we don't try to be uh, suggesting anything related to health. We are not doctors. We are not therapists specific like psychiatrists. I mean, if someone really feel they have they are very down and they feel they need medical assistance. Of course, we are not against like going to a doctor, a psychologist, mm -hmm. a, a psychiatrist, or whoever who can treat any health condition. But mm -hmm. um, I think in a personal way, if you want to like work on your understanding why you do the things you do, why sometimes you do things <laughs> you don't want to do and you regret afterwards, why you, you sometimes are harming yourself even you know that's not correct in different ways mm -hmm. and you are why would you are with the wrong people sometimes that you don't you, you you don't feel comfortable how you want to 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 start getting to know yourself better to know what is best for you it's a mm -hmm. life journey you know this is not something like oh from today i will go this week i will do this week of work i i suggest a retreat because I think a retreat normally is organized in a way that offers all the conditions to start this journey that is a life journey. Uh, uh -huh. If you are interested in becoming uh, the better version of yourself. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh, but uh, I think it's in interesting to, um, I think meditation, for example, and it's a good step. Uh, many times uh -huh. also yoga it's a it's a easy door because now in most of the places you have the possibility to join a yoga class uh, yeah. i think the most important is not the kind of style of yoga that you choose but that you are you connect with the person who's teaching mm -hmm. and that you feel like it's in your in your aligned with your um, way of thinking and it's aligned with your priorities if you don't like mm -hmm. one yoga teacher just move and go to another studio or go to you know this is very important that you feel okay. that the person is it's from my point of view and doesn't mm -hmm. matter the style, whatever is making you feel good on the yoga mat, because many times this is a easy activity that opens another door, you know, to be for one hour, at least in a space so small as a yoga mat, connecting movement mm -hmm. and breathing mm -hmm. and being focused. It's already mm -hmm. so positive for you that will let you little by little, maybe open a door, but can be other yeah. practices. You know, swimming also, I find is very meditative and very wonderful mm -hmm. activity. Any okay. kind of connection with nature, like going on a trekking, okay. uh, you know, anything that connects you with nature, or you can also start reading and finding some books that mm -hmm. they really help you to, to find uh, your true essence as well. I mean, I don't say one book. I think it depends on what is your belief, what is the moment in your life, is what can be. I think being curious and trying things. Me, I'm a very curious person, and I try all kind of treatments, all kind of classes, and not everything I try, I like it. And what I don't like, I don't try anymore. It's oh. totally okay. Yeah. Doesn't mean that it's bad. It means it's not good for you in this moment. Exactly. So it's like uh, listen to your body again, yeah? Listen to your body exactly. and also hear your voice, isn't it? Okay. Oh, it's a really a uh, great conversation with Veronica, founder of Essential Retreat Organizer at Body Positivity with Kimi. Thank you so much, Veronica, for being here and support our body, mind, and soul to our <laughs> audience, especially at listen to Kimi Afan, special at International Podcast Day. And before closing, do you want to uh, say something again for our audience, especially at listen to Kimi Afan? Uh, well, I think that I, what I would like is to, to share a positive message about uh, no matter how you are, how you look, and how you feel, there is always a way to feel better if you are not feeling comfortable. Mm -hmm. it, it, doesn't, it can be through improving your health, it can be through relating to different kind of people, finding your community, uh, changing uh, priorities in life. Mm -hmm. Just try mm -hmm. and, you know, me, I left uh, Spain. I had a good job. I had a lot of friends. I was having a comfortable life. 
And many times we are afraid to make this change in our life. But mm -hmm. I don't think we should be afraid. You know, when you make a step and the step is wrong, just move in another direction and try again. Life is very short and mm -hmm. it's not worth to live the life you don't want to live. And it's not worth not to be your true self and not to be your real essence. And, and try, to, try to find that. I think that's the, that's the, it's not a secret. I think it's something that in many philosophies, in every culture, every spiritual um, movement always have the, the truth inside about this, of finding your inner voice and being able to, to follow your personal path. No need to follow anybody's path, just the one that you decide to take in your life. And mm -hmm. this way we cannot blame anybody. Mm. This way, you know, this way we can, we know we make this a step and if we make a mistake, we know we can just change and do another one and not depend of anybody on that. For yeah. not for everybody is as, is, is the, has the same difficulties, of course, I must say, that I feel very thankful that as a woman, I was born in a society that was respecting women who make their own decisions in general. Of course, there is always sexist and, and social problems in all the societies, but in different levels. Mm -hmm. uh, there is not the same to be born in one country than another, especially being a woman. Okay. But uh, uh, even in a little level, in a small, even a small step in your own community, if you cannot make Big steps is already a big step. Okay. Yeah. Oh, all right. It's amazing. <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, to find your true essence, everyone, don't forget. Yeah. First is you have to listen to your body. It's uh, very important. Also, you have to be thankful. Yeah. And you have to listen to your inner voice. Don't forget. Listen to inner voice. <laughs> and also, like uh, Veronica said, we have to uh, find what you like. If, if Is it good? Yeah, go for it. If not, just leave it. Like something like back to listen to your inner voice again isn't it <laughs> yes okay. totally. All right. like, hopefully everyone will uh, find your uh, true essence yeah uh, even it's not short need time practice and need practice time. again yeah but if you need somebody to help your retreat you can contact uh, essential retreat organizer with veronica and veronica will help you to getting better of your life in the future isn't it <laughs> yes we'll try we'll try uh, okay anyway thank you so much uh veronica for being here once again happy weekend and everyone thank you for joining in and also see you on listen to kim fm live on instagram next month thank you thank you for the invitation time. thank you so much for inviting me it was a pleasure thank you so much have a great one have a great have a great weekend <laughs> bye bye thank you thank you thank you so much bye bye